Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we have done it. We have hit our epic milestone of 42,069 subscribers and I want to thank you all. It's awfully nice of everyone to subscribe and well douchebag zeddy has been unleashed and uh, later today on today's stream we will be doing full-on sunglasses zeddy the entire time so if you want to come hang out we'll just be playing probably a bunch of these decks over at twitch.tv slash zeddy come hang out follow the stream and uh we'll have a good time but let's take a look today at five decks that you can play or realistically expect to hit legend in both standard and wild that are mostly new, not all of them are new, uh, new decks that have cards from Anixia's Lair and well, we have a lot of Kazakasan uh, to share because well, the card's pretty sweet and I'm sure a lot of you guys want to try out some Kazakasan decks. So starting off, we have the deck that I played to, um, on launch day where I went almost like, uh, I think like 70 plus percent, almost top 200 legend. And by the way, before I get into this, I don't recommend crafting any deck straight out the gate. You never know how the meta will shift or take a look at a deck like this, for example, that has a lot of cards that will be rotating. And well, if you don't play a bunch of wild, maybe you don't want to craft Guess the Weight or craft a Glowfly Swarm, which are epic. So keep all that in mind. But if you have most of the cards, you want to try something out, it's always, you know, a good idea to Try something out. Try the deck out. So we have Kazakasan Druid, which runs one whole minion in Kazakasan. And if you're not aware of how Kazakasan works, basically he will delete your deck. Your deck becomes empty and you replace it with a bunch of duels treasures. I'll try and show some screenshots of duels treasures, but overall, a lot of them can be pretty insane, especially Locust, which is just a ridiculous amount of damage or just fireballs, which can do a lot of damage as well. Or, you know, a, a full board clear with like the staff of scale or the Wand of Disintegration. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but there's a lot of good options to pull off and you can tutor this card with Capture Cold Tooth Mine. This guarantees you draw Kazakasan, or if it's already in your hand, then you get Scales of Anixia, or you can get an early Lightning Bloom to cheat out Kazakasan first. And yes, the strat with this deck is pretty much played as soon as you can. You would prefer to play Guff before Kazakasan. That's always a bonus, but... Even then, uh, Kazakasan can pretty ha much hard carry, even without Guff. And yes, yeah, so the, the deck's basically Spell Druid Shell, all of that. You ramp up with Overgrowth. You can draw Fungal Fortunes. I've yet to discard Kazakasan, so the card is totally fine in the deck. But yeah, it works pretty well, and it's a lot of fun to play. And the deck seems to be performing very well, early on at least. If you're looking for a Priest fix on the deck, we have Dragon Kazakasan Control Priest that I believe Theo plays this at a relatively good ranks so you have kazakasan is your late game card of course and you could uh tutor it out effectively with horn of rathian you do have light maw nether drakes in there to help out but you also can tutor with insight and you can cheat it out a little bit early whether it be a corrupted insight or or a Draconic Studies, and basically, you know, you don't run a lot of minions, so you're running a lot of spells that can just keep you alive and generate stuff, and again, a pretty good deck has done some good work, and it's another take on the Kazakasan deck that you might have a lot of these cards already. Um, we also have another one. We'll go with our last Kazakasan standard deck, uh, Kazakasan Control Warrior. This runs actually two big dragons. Uh, we have Raid Boss and Nixia, which again, also incredible card. Being immune makes it really hard to target if there's whelps on the board, and it's just a ridiculous stat bomb in the late game. You have Kazakasan, you have the recently buffed Rakara as well, and you have a Nixian Warders to summon some two on whelps with Rush to help stabilize your mid game. And of course, you have even a Nixian Drake, which has got that shield slam on a stick effect. Pretty cool uh, deck. It's basically a, it's definitely a control shell. No way to tutor out Kazakasan. Best you can do to draw it out is your cutting classes and your hitting with Outrider's Axe, but no actual way to specifically tutor it. So uh, it's definitely more of a controlish style deck. Next, we have Quest Rogue, which doesn't have a heck of a lot of new cards, but it does have a one brand new card in SI7 Smuggler, which by the way is currently bugged in a good way for the card. It counts itself with its battle cry. It's not supposed to, which has been confirmed by the devs on Twitter and will be addressed at some point. And I doubt we'll get dust for that, by the way. But yes, SI7 Smuggler summoning minions, really good. 
with your shadow steps, really good with a Tin Wu, really good with a Scabs. You can do pretty absurd stuff. And uh, basically the deck is play a lot of SI7 cards, get your Scabs, give it stealth, Battleground Battlemaster, kill your opponent. And that's basically the deck. It's worked this way since it's been in the game and is effectively still the exact same as this version is, but it's got the new card in there and people really enjoy their quest rogue. So I thought I would share it and it's performing very well. And the last deck we'll take a look at, I don't believe runs any new cards, but if you're getting punished by all this Kazakhstan druids out there in particular, you might want to play some shadow priest, probably the best aggro deck option on ladder because you drop an iron deep drug on turn one against druid, you win the game. Uh, Void touched insanely good early aggressive card called neophytes lock out those spells you just push a bunch of damage you have man crick in here which you can tutor out with your thrive of the shadows dark bishop uh sorry mr smite because you're gonna go face and uh you got four mana mind control pretty good it's nothing uh, too exciting but it's a very good aggro deck and i didn't want to recommend face hunter for the millionth time so those are the standard decks and well what do i have in store for you guys for wild well let's get it right out of the way pyre warrior yes it's the probably the best deck in wild yes it's busted you play raid the docks you play a bunch of pirates you get Rakara. you kill your opponent with mr smite you win the game it's very good deck it is done incredibly well if you want to get legend you will probably be able to do it with this deck it's just a matter of time very powerful very good but really just you know i'm sure a lot of you are sick of hearing about it sick of seeing it but i have to recommend it because well it's just too good. It's just too good. Uh, next, we have Freeze Shutterwalk Shaman, the other best deck in Wild, where you lock your opponent out of board control or at any board with Snowfall Guardian, which you can repeat over and over with Brilliant Macaws. And of course, you can repeat it infinitely with your Shutterwalk after playing a Chain Gang and a Grumble. And you also have the insane combination with your Ice Fishing, drawing out your Toxfin in your Firemancer Flugrel, effectively clearing any board out there. And well, there's tech cards aplenty because this deck can just run tech cards. It doesn't matter. As long as you freeze the board, you can run a Skulking Geist. You can run a Boom Pistol Bully. You can run a Weapon Removal. You can run pretty much any tech card as long as you have the shell. And yes, this deck is very good and very frustrating to face. I saw this newish take on Quest Hunter though that looked like it had been done, doing pretty well. It has two new cards from the latest mini set. So you have Defend the Dwarven District where you gotta cast a bunch of spells and deal damage with everything, but you have the new dragon bane shot which lets you recast over and over as long as you honorably kill and furious hell to refill your hand and the quest is pretty good with a card like dragon bane which odd hunter could not run which lets you deal five for every hero power which is pretty freaking nuts and you have rapid fire in the deck which was nerfed but also good for just regular quest hunters so if you still have your quest for hunter and it's something you want to give a go there's a couple new cards you can throw in there and try and have some success with we also have uh Cthune druid one of my favorites i love it and uh it's the same old Cthune druid but it runs Kazakistan, because why not? You don't run any other minions outside of your uh, Marauder and Vargoth, which you cheat out with summons anyways. And once you've done that and you have you feel like you don't need Cthune or have you already assembled Cthune, play Kazakistan. Why not? I just thought it'd be fun to recommend it. I mean, you probably just cut Kazakistan. The deck's better, but why not have some fun? Play a really fun, good Druid deck to begin with with Cthune Druid. Throw Kazakistan in there. Have some fun. And the strategy of the Cthune, by the way, is of course, assemble the Cthune, Solar Eclipse, Moonlight Guidance, get a bunch more Cthunes, and kill your opponent. And the last deck I will recommend you is courtesy of Engine, awesome wild content creator. He created a deck that Two people a top 100 wild legend with. It's not really that budget friendly as the title might uh, lead on. It's got a few legendaries, but if you happen to be one of these whales like me and wild that have a bunch of cards, it's just really fun. It's a Reno deck. It's got the call. It's got, uh, you can, you basically can get Nor uh, those Dormu out, get your local R going, all these big giant bombs. And basically it's all carried by Lightforge, Carol and Reno and Zeph. And you got Rat for combo disruption. And it's a fun deck. I've actually done all right with it, but yeah, it is, uh, it's definitely not too budget friendly. So if you don't have the cards, I, uh, I can't really recommend crafting this, but my goodness, is this deck fun? If you happen to have a good chunk 
of these. So there you go. Those are five decks from Standard and Wild that I feel you can hit Legend with. And uh, again, thank you guys for 42,069 subscribers. I guess the big next milestone is like, what, 45, 50,000? We'll get there when we get there. And if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends.